Hello purple lights! Welcome to our reading. So this reading is all about how are they feeling for you with BTS songs. <laughs> okay, so what is your person feeling for you? And I want to use BTS songs. And as signifiers, I want to use um, pictures of our boys. So you just choose the picture you're most drawn to for the piles. So part one, look at this, guys. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> part one is this pile. Cookie. Okay, if you're drawn to this cookie, how is your person feeling about you? This is our part one for today. Our part two for today, please. This Yungi, look at this picture, it's gorgeous. Wow, <laughs> this is our part two. Part three for today, please. I'm feeling this one. That's Ginny, map of the soul one. Our Jin is part three for today. And for the non-armies, please choose whatever you feel drawn to. Um, Yungi we already have. And pile four is, who is this? Jin, we already have Jin. I want to pick one more member. Pile four, please. Why is Jin coming out a lot? <laughs> oh, and again, Jin, this wants to come out as pile four. Oh, well, just take it, you know, this is our pile four. So, those are our piles. How is your person feeling? Um, choose one of those pictures and then we're going to see it with BTS song lyrics and BTS tarot deck. <laughs> this is so cool. I really love this. Um, yeah, and for every pile, you know, after I read this for you, you go and stream the music video. All right. <laughs> Whatever music video comes out. Whatever song comes out, you go on YouTube and you guys stream that for me, okay? And for you. <laughs> Always um, put the, um, the translation in the box. Because this is important when you listen to BTS songs. You always have to put the translation in so you know what they're singing, you know? Because the text in BTS songs is very, very important. And th there is a message for you in here. So for all my non-BTS army you know, please go and watch that music video. There might be a message in the text for you or in the music video in itself, okay? So we're starting with part one. Timestamps always in the description box. I see you, purple lights. Hello, 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 part one. So let's see what song comes out for you. How is your person feeling? So first I want to shuffle the pile a little bit. This is the first, first pile we're starting this. So this is my own deck. So here we go. I have to update it with the new songs, guys, you know. So let's see. What song your person wants to send you? And please go to YouTube, as I said. Please stream that song. Always put in the title, like the, um, not the title, but the, yeah. Make sure that the text, the lyrics are switched on in English, okay, from the music videos. So there might be a message in the music video of that song as well as in the lyrics. I will read the lyrics to you for all the non-BTS army so you know what we're talking about. And I want to get um, cards now for what are they feeling? How are they feeling for you? Part 1. How is Part 1 feeling at the moment? Um, remember, those are timeless readings, but it's at the moment. When you watch this, how are they feeling for you at the moment? All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. What's the outcome here of this pile at the moment? We have feelings. And we have the Jungles and Cookie coming out. So I want to put this there. So I feel that, um, you know, I haven't done readings with BTS cards in a long time maybe one or so and i think you guys are excited for that so how's your person feeling so let's turn around your card your song oh fake love <laughs> that's super oh man okay i show you the picture i put teangi on there and it says for you i could pretend i was happy even if i was sad 
yeah so we have fake love wow and even this card the signifier was very dull look at this isn't it the same card look at this it's the same aesthetics right yes we can see here the overall picture of cookie look at this i mean it's very dark and dull it really fits you know this is from the map of the soul concept photo book shooting but it fits the message and the concept very well so why is this person feeling fake love for you um so now i'm gonna read the lyrics because everyone's saying oh my gosh they're feeling fake love for me um wait a second i will read the lyrics to you The translation. And I will read the ones that I'm really important. The lines. Okay, it says, For you I could pretend I was happy when I was sad. I wish love was perfect as love itself. I wish all my weaknesses could be hidden. I grew a flower that can't be bloomed in a dream that cannot come true. I'm so sorry, but it's fake love. I'm so sick of this fake love. I want to be a good man just for you. I gave the world just for you. I changed everything just for you. But I don't know me. Who are you? And we know this is where he's looking into the mirror. The forest just for us. You weren't there. The route I took, I forgot. I even became quite unsure of who I was. Try bottling into the mirror. Who the hell are you? For you, I could pretend like I was happy when I was sad. I wish love was perfect as love itself. I wish all my weaknesses could be hidden. I love you so mad. I love you so bad. <laughs> I always understand I love you so mad, you know? <laughs> I love you so bad. I molded a pretty life for you. Love, it's so mad. Trying to erase myself and make me your doll. I love you so bad. Why you said? I don't know. Smile. Say I love you. Look at me. Even I gave up on myself. Even you can't understand me. You say I'm unfamiliar. Changed into the one you used to like. You say I'm not myself. Which you knew well. No? What do you mean no? I'm blind. Love. What the heck is love? It's all fake love. So this is the text. It's clearly the same. It's like, um, you know, now the text is like um, in itself. Like, how do you say that? Yeah, repeating itself, you know. But basically, that's the thing. It's um, because you love someone so bad, you try to mold a lie. So what I'm feeling here is strong, strong runner energy. Yeah, this comes through as this person. Maybe fake twin energy as well from your person, you know. But they tried their best you have to understand it from their point of view as well they tried to their best to make it work but it didn't work so that's why you know they just brush it off and say well it was fake love i, I tried my best but um you know they don't know really who they are they they don't know what their feelings are you know when i see this fake love i always see someone who looks into the mirror and asks themselves like well who am i yeah who am i i don't know yet um you know so let's see what are their feelings what else do we get in justice yes they feel this could be someone guys that ghosted you or someone who ran away from their feelings okay um they think you deserve justice yeah that's what's coming through a lot um they think they couldn't give you what you needed yeah so i'm strongly feeling runner chaser energy here um the eight of wands yes they want to get in contact with you. They want to have happy times with you again. Um, the Eight of Wands is like, mm, they des they think you deserve all of this. You deserve happy times. I mean, if we look at those two cards, they're happy, joyful, cheerful, colorful. And if you contrast it, you know, their feelings contrast what they're thinking. So here we have exactly like, um, you know, someone who runs away from their feelings and thinks you deserve the world, thinks you deserve, um, you know, like, 
they manifested again this connection but at the end they're feeling like they 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 feel sad because they could not give you what they des what you deserve this is what i'm feeling you know it's like this person loves you really much it says in the lyrics i love you so bad i love you so mad or bad or whatever why is this cookie not working here so how <laughs> perfect thank you so um and you see these colorful cards so it's like what they're feeling is there needs to be justice. There needs to be an equal give and take. And they want to give it to you. Yeah, they want to give it to you. But at the end, like in their mind, they think you deserve someone better. Like they don't think highly of themselves. Look at this. Yes. This is exactly this card of, you know, I, I don't know why I wait around that long. Why, you know, the time is ticking, and but but I cannot get up, you know, I'm, I'm feeling sad. I... I cannot motivate myself to, um, you know, to, to give you the world. It's like this person is like waiting around to do something. Let's put it like this. You know, they're like, this is actually, their feelings completely are different from what their mind is. Their mind is, okay, I tried my best, but, you know, I'm not good enough for her. Maybe it's better she has someone else. Maybe I'm running away. Um, I should leave her because she deserves someone better. She deserves justice. She deserves all these fireworks. But I'm not in the mood or I'm not in the um, in the ability to give her all that. So that's how they feel. They feel that you deserve the best. They feel they want to give you all. They love you very, very much. But their mind is like, you can never give this to her. You are not enough for her. Um, she deserves someone better. So it's basically their mind correlating their heart. And this is what we have in a typical runner chaser scenario. So if you um, agree with that or if you resonate with that and that's your situation, please know that they feel completely different than what they tell you. They tell you this fake thing. And that's why fake is here. It's not that they give you fake love. It's they give you fake thoughts of themselves. You know, this person is not loving themselves. Fake love is about not loving yourself. You don't know who you really are. You just fake everything to, um, you know, to get by. And that's, you know, exactly what's happening here. They think of you, the world. They love you. But they cannot accept their feelings. Yeah? They think not highly of themselves. <clears throat> so what's the outcome? Yeah. The pressure is too much for this person. You know, we see all these tens. They want to show up at your door like this Yungi. You know, they want to show up at your door and they want to make it happen. But it's like, you know, they just look in for a short while and then they're gone again. And my flame is going crazy. So this is true what I'm saying. So the outcome is <clears throat> the pressure is too much. It's not working at this moment. You know, this um, person being together with you. It's, it would not work, guys, at the moment, yeah? Nine of Swords, yes. They overthink. You know, this is the card of overthinking, um, not feeling enough. And you see all these black cards. And again, we have Cookie, conf confirmation of this, what you chose. Um, <clears throat> so if we look at this card, you know, they're listening. Also, I see here they're trying to listen. They're not really, um, they not really listen to um, their soul. You know, they listen to the outside world. And sometimes they're lost, you know. This is when, when your earphone is not functioning. You know, you try to... this. <laughs> look at this flame. Uh, you try to adapt or try to adjust your earphone. It's not working. So basically, spirit is trying to tell them to come back to you and to make it work. But they're not listening, okay? This person is completely in this fake love scenario. In order to heal this, guys, please, you need to take off your energy from this guy, okay? Um... And look how my flame, my flame is going crazy. So he agrees. You know, my twin flame is here when I chat and I see this um, dancing flamey. I know he's here. He wants to tell you. Um, watch that music video. Turn on the lyrics. Yeah. In the music video and watch it, please. You need to take off your energy from this person. Um, they need to feel that you cut them off. Like even if you don't. Yeah. But you need to. Um, take your energy away from the person so that they feel you left them out in the cold. Okay, that's very important. They need to feel that. Otherwise, they don't heal. They need to feel that you are completely, you ignore them. 
okay? You ignore them. Um, even if it's hard for you, try to block them. Try to take off your energy. Don't write them. Don't do anything. You know, this person really has to explore their feelings. They really have to come out of their head. Because this is only head cards and the pressure. The pressure to give you justice. This person has the pressure to give you justice. And they don't know how to do it. That's why they're in their mind over and over and over and over again. For them to get out of this state. For them to go into this feeling space. Because their feelings are... Look at this colorful energy here. Their feelings are there. Their feelings are happy. They love you. This person loves you. But... They have to acknowledge this. They have to um, love themselves for who they are. And they're not doing this. So in order that they come into their learning space, you need to let them go. And letting go doesn't mean that you leave them and you never see them again. But you take off your energy from that person. And then they feel like falling. Yeah. And that's where they get to this point where they see this. Because they're not listening to their feelings. Okay. Okay. And I want to draw one more. I love these colorful cards. I want to get an advice for you with the color-coded cards. I don't know why I'm doing this now, but I wanted to. Because Flamey is going crazy, so I want to do that. This is a very gorgeous reading, by the way. I already feel this. So what's the advice for you, Pat One? Oh gosh, cook, yes. Look at this. Look at this, I could put this here. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that would be a perfect card, wouldn't it? Like, it's the same gray, guys. It's the same gray. So you also listen to Blue and Gray from My Twin Flame. Yeah, he wrote that Blue and Gray song. Um, It's also from our boys. Please turn on the lyrics, like switch them on. Listen to Blue and Gray and Fake Love. Watch the music video and really try to... Put in your situation into these songs. Your advice is that you should think the whole thing is fake love. What you do if someone is telling you it's fake love? What are you doing? You act cool like a MF, you know. You act cool and you say, well, I don't care. If this person doesn't want to contact me, if they want to run away, they should run away. They should run far away. Run, run, bulletproof, run. Maybe you should also listen to that song. Because that's a runner energy. Leave them running. Yeah? Let them go. Let them run to the end of the world. They need to acknowledge these this feelings. And I can tell you guys, I've been through that. Yeah? I'm talking like funny now about this. But I know how it feels. I know this is a situation where you, in your situation, you don't feel like this. You don't feel like, well, I'm cool in this situation. I know that. It's hard. But you have to come into this feeling space where it does not matter to you what this person is doing. When you are at this point, this person is falling into these beautiful feelings. And then they can acknowledge them and then they come back. Okay? If you want them to come back. If you don't want them to come back, leave them be. The same energy. Tell yourself it was fake love and still stay away. But this person needs to think that you are gone and you don't want to have to do anything with them anymore. You act cool. You are gray. You think it's fake love. You don't want this person anymore. That's what you have to pretend or really feel. Once you've done this, the runner falls into this energy. Where they really see how much they love you. Okay? But all this plaque energy has to go here. And it's the only thing you can do that. Because this is a spiritual bond. And you can watch this in the fake love music video. You really see it's about a spiritual connection. Because that's what fake love is all about. You really see. That they come into this beautiful colorful feeling space. But now they're in this grayish energy. Because you hold on to them, okay? They feel that. A spiritual bond, if you have a spiritual bond with someone, they can feel that, guys. And it's very important, even if it's if it's hard for you. It's very important that you leave them be, yeah? Letting go is the magic word here for you. You need to let go of that person. And that does not mean that you don't see them anymore. You just let go of the energy. 
And that's when your masculine falls into these feelings. All right? And that's when they are motivated again to do something. Otherwise, this person is just staying away. Yeah? You understand? <laughs> I hope I could explain it a little, you know. I love you, Purple Lights. Take care. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I see you at the next reading. Hello, Purple Lights Pal 2. How are they feeling towards you? So you chose this Jungles. Beautiful card. So first of all, I'm getting the song. So please watch that song, that music video on YouTube. Please put in the lyrics. Please turn on the um, lyrics, you know. In a BTS song, it's always important to turn on the lyrics. And it's important, you know, because there could be a message for you in there. So I'm feeling this song, Pal 2 for Pal 2. And I also, before we turn it around, I want to get cards for you. Well, how are their feelings? So please, after we've done, go and watch whatever music video is coming out, okay? Maybe there might be a message in the lyrics. I will also talk them to you. But maybe there is a message in the lyrics or in the music video in itself, okay? Pile one, uh, two, sorry. Pile two. How are they feeling? I'm getting three cards and I'm getting the outcome. What is the outcome of this pile? Two cards, please, for pile two. How are they feeling? We get Tiangi. How are they feeling? Two cards. All right. What's the outcome? And Teani again. Interesting. Let's put this over here because I want to talk about this later. First of all, we're going to turn around the song and I'm going to read you the lyrics, okay? So, Paltu, how is your person feeling? No way. Nah, that's why Teani came out. I mean, I was feeling his energy in this pile as well, but... Yeah, the stars that shine more brightly in the darkest night. So please go and look up Microcosm. Um, I think Microcosmos, there is not a music video to it. Maybe a fan-made one, okay? But look up the lyrics and I'm going to read them to you, okay? Basically, I can tell you that they feel the world. You are their world. They want nothing more than being with you. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, um, they miss you greatly. Like, um, this is no joke. So I'm going to look up the lyrics for you. In English translation. So I'm going to read this to you. Okay. <clears throat> Twinkling starlight. Building with blinking light, we're shining brightly in our own rooms, in our own stars. One light is ambition, some lights is rebellion, people's lights are all precious. This dark night, don't be lonely, like stars, we shine. Don't disappear, cause you are a big existence, let us shine. Perhaps the reason this night looks so beautiful, it's not because of the stars or lights, but us. You got me. I dream while looking at you. I got you. Inside those pitch black nights, the lights we saw in each other were saying the same thing. The starlight that shines more in the deepest night. The starlight that shines more in the deepest night. One history in one person. One star in one person. Seven billion different worlds shining with seven billion lights. Seven billion lives, the city's night view, is possibly another city's night. Our own dreams, let us shine. You shine brighter than anyone else. I, you got me, I dream while looking at you, I got you. Inside those pitch black nights, the lights we saw in each other were saying the same thing. So then it repeats and it says shine dream smile, let us light up the night. We shine in our own ways. Shine, dream, and smile. Isn't it gorgeous? This song means that you are a team. Yeah? You could even be in a relationship with that person. Yeah? It could be. And it doesn't have to be. But you are together. You are entangled with that person. Yeah? Part two, you are one. 
That's gorgeous. They love you. They take care of you. They want to protect you. They want to help you. Um, they think you are gorgeous. They think you are a team. You shine bright. They think you should do your soul task. So they feel all the love in the world. This is gorgeous. <clears throat> yes. The three of cups. They feel happy to have you. Yeah. They feel blessed and happy. They want to have a good time. They want to go out with you. They want to celebrate, basically. The Three of Cups. And this is also my army card. So <clears throat> this means, and you know, when, when you know the boys, they always say BTS and army are one. So we have BTS. And the first card I turn around is my army card. So BTS and army are one. So basically, your person feels oneness with you. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. BTS and ARMY are one. This is crazy. And it says, at the end, you need to find the start of everything and the map of your soul telling you the direction. So this tells me that with the High Priestess, they feel a strong spiritual connection with you. Okay? They feel that you guys are soulmates, twin flames, whatever you call it. They feel that. They feel that the universe brings you together. They love you. They take care of you. They want to be with you. If you are in separation, they long to see you. I don't think you have met this person. This sounds like the one that maybe is looking for you all over the world. They want to reunite. Oh my gosh. The four of wands. This is a twin flame. Teamwork make the dream work. I've, I even edited it on the picture. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. And they even want to work with you, you know? They're feeling that you guys are... <sighs> That's like my twin flame. I mean, I would channel him here. Yes, I saw this already. So this pile is also speaking to me. Um, It's like they say no one can overcome, like, or can come in between this bond. You guys are inseparable. You guys are you against the world. Um, You know, they want to work with you. They want to do their soul task with you. This person loves you madly and they want to find you. So what's the outcome? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Again, this loving energy, this loving, caring energy. You know, the Queen of Cups, you could be a Cancer, um, <clears throat> Pisces or Scorpio because this is a water sign. But it doesn't have to be. It means that they love you deeply. You are the Queen of their heart. Let's put it like this. You are the Queen of their heart. There's no one else there. And they want to find you. The two of wands is those two sticks that they hold. So this is the teamwork. This is the two people that maybe are separated, you know, because maybe you guys look in different directions, but they want to come. And this is the singularity um, performance. So maybe also look at the singularity. Um, there the person speaks of that they're nothing without you. Yeah, nothing. They want to have this two. The two. You guys are the two. You are this team. This is absolutely effing gorgeous, this reading. Wow. I could, like, you know, this card is reunion card. This card is reunion card. If they come from a past life and you have not met yet, they want to reunite. They want to be with you. You know, no one can come in between the two of you. No one. And it's even with this Jungle card here. They fight for you. Look at this. This is Jungles um, in a ring, like fighting. They say, I'm here. I'm fighting for you, baby. I'm coming. I'm doing everything. I want to protect you. That's also what I'm getting because they're, you are their microcosm. Such a gorgeous reading. Can I see the at the end? I want to um, have the color of this bond at the moment, okay? I want to see the color of this bond at the moment. And I'm feeling it's this card. What's going on? Oh gosh, yes. Fiesta! <laughs> Number 17 is the star. Um, you know, and when I see the fiesta, I always think of celebration. And that's the first card that came out, you know. Wow. Look at this. Like, I mean, there's love. There's nothing more red, you know. Look at this. I mean, it's even the red in this card. Oh my gosh, look at this. This would fit so perfectly. <sighs> Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have um, number 15, which is the devil card. You know, this is like you guys are chained onto each other, not in a bad sense, yeah? There's passion. 
they love to be passionately chained on you. And then we have the six, which is the lover's card. Again, you know, the um, <clears throat> from the stars, the mate connection and the four of wands, the twin flame card. So we have everything in this card. That's a nice summary. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what songs you need to watch, part two? You need to watch Microcosm. You need to watch Singularity so you feel how they feel in separation. That's how they feel. They want to be with you. Yeah. And that's what I'm seeing. Those are the two important songs that came out here. Yeah. Singularity, because if you are in separation, you know, they don't want to feel no more like singularity. They want to be together and microcosm for their feelings overall. And fiesta, 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 fiesta. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I love it. What a beautiful reading. Part two. I love that. Take care. Bye. Please like the video and subscribe and comment. Hello. Hello, part three. Welcome to your reading. You chose Jin. This is part three Jin. So let's see. What song comes out for you guys? And know that um, please look up the song in YouTube. Also, always turn on the captions, okay? What song for part three? Okay, this one. Okay, <laughs> I'm taking it. Um, always turn on the caption for your translation in a BTS song. That's very important. I also want to read you the lyrics of the song. And we will see how are they feeling towards you. How are they feeling towards you? Part three, please. And I'm getting the cards. How are they feeling towards you? And I also want to get two outcome cards. What is the outcome at the moment? Please know this is at the moment. I take this card. We have BTS after concert. What is the outcome? And BTS at a concert. Okay. Wow. Interesting. So let's see what this is later on. Artos! <laughs> My dog is like slurking. <laughs> so maybe they're tired because also these concert cards came out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have to see. How are they feeling? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I just said, maybe they're tired. Um, we have disease. And let's walk as me, myself, through the flames. I get stronger. Wow. You guys are in separation and they see the separation as a disease. Yeah. Um, this also could be that um, this is about Corona. Um, because also look at this chin card. I mean, Jin looks very tired here. And... Maybe because of a disease, you guys cannot be together. Okay, but I'm going to read the lyrics to that song. I don't think to disease there's a music video, but I think there's a live performance. Okay, um, but you find the lyrics all over the internet if you write it in. Okay, and I told you we have the concert and after the concert, our boys are always... Ooh, our boys are always um, very tired, you know, and I just threw down some box so yeah they might be tired and um not feeling well in separation yeah okay let's get it i'm gonna read the lyrics to you so you know what disease means <clears throat> lurks english translation yeah i think it was written by j hole so it says, oh, it looks like I lost something. Oh my gosh, and I just threw down the box. <laughs> I relieve my anxiety with a sip of coffee and endless rest. Yes, that's what I was feeling here after the concert, you know. Happiness suddenly comes towards me uncomfortably. 24 hours, that's plenty of time. I could sleep all day, but there's still no problem. I think I should work till my body breaks. I'm the damn guy who eats three meals a day. My crime, the dog bit me while I was resting. What is this? Cream, don't do that. But I'm depending on results every day. Every day I do my thing. Damn it if I fail. Keep crawling, tap a rotten rope. Insecurity, this is a disease. The physical stuff is a stun from work. Maybe I'm sick because I think too much. I hate that. 
I'm childish, but not that simple. I'm just young. Only my body's grown, limping all my life. One for the laugh, two for the show. Just like I'm so fine. Every day I comfort myself. They are, they are all the same people. Ain't so special. Amen, keep one, two step. Let's treat them all calmly. My disease, throw away my fear. Yeah, even our hearts need a vacation. Oh, just do your job like it's one. I'm ill, yeah, I'm the job myself. The friend called rest. Oh, I never liked him. How much do you have to earn to be happy? This glass bottle hits your head. Is the world sick or am I sick? I'm confused. I take off my glasses, but the dark doesn't blur. Whatever label is attached to me after this time, I hope they will be able they, they will all be you. Everyone has a lot of diseases. What I'm confused is that mankind is inherently evil. There are more than 400 kinds of mental diseases, but no one really fits into any of these categories. Yo, is the world sick or am I sick? Or do we just interpret things differently? Or is that all to it? I don't know. Changing myself is faster than looking at people differently. I'm sick because I think too much. I hate it. I'm childish, but not that simple. And then it's uh, repeating. When the night comes, I will close my eyes and trust my old self again. Now wake up one more time. It's morning again. I have to be myself today. Let's go for it one more night. No one knows what will be at the end. No nights last forever. I have become stronger. The fireworks spark, I will never fade away. Every day I comfort myself. They are all the same people. Ain't so special. Yes. Interesting, right? <laughs> I don't know if these lyrics fit well because I think there is some better translation on the internet. But um, yeah, I mean, basically... What did I write here? Let's walk as me myself through the flames. I become stronger. I get stronger. Um, I feel here this is about them doubting themselves. Okay, them doubting. So you guys are in separation and them them doubting love overall. Them doubting their abilities. Them being tired of everything. So they are retreated. I feel here that, you know, you guys are in separation and they retreat. They're tired. Um, but it's it's not having anything to do with you. I think they're just tired of life, you know. I feel they're not happy in their life. I feel they're not happy. They see everything as a disease. Maybe, maybe even Corona uh, really hit them hard, you know, and they're like um, not motivated anymore. So let's see. How are their feelings towards you? Yes, we have the lovers. See? Mind and heart looking in different directions, not knowing really what to do. Knowing, um, you know, feeling the bond with you. The lovers is feeling the bond with you. Yes, we have justice reversed. Look at this, feeling like in a box. And I edited this card and my dog is sleeping all the time. So they need sleep. They, they, they need to rest, you know, because they feel like being put in a box and all eyes are staring on them. So, you know, the spotlight is on them. So that makes me think that this person thinks that all the eyes, maybe you were separated because of family issues or something. Yeah. If you are in separation because of that and then say, oh my gosh, save me. And if we turn it around, it means I'm fine. This is one of the most beautiful cards. Look how I edited it. This is so cool. <laughs> so basically they're fine, but they could cry out for help. So there are many scenarios how they're feeling towards this connection. Um, I feel that there is a separation here, but it's because something in your surrounding was not or is not as it should be. With the disease, I feel they, they feel tired to fight. Um, they don't want to take any decisions. And that's what they just rest. Um, this is all feels like hermit mode. Okay, so this person drew back. Um, they took off their energy. Um, they try to um, make something of their life, but they're not happy in their surroundings where they are. So whatever your separation is, um, it means that it, it has nothing so much to do with you. It has more with, to do with their surroundings. So they don't come forward because they don't want to make a decision towards you. Okay, Because their eyes right now is on this um, situation in their life where they are caught in. Yeah, I'm feeling this person... They're not trusting themselves. They're not loving themselves. They're not breaking out of the box. I feel they're caught in this box. 
Like you see this here. Yeah. And with the justice reverse, they need to speak up. They need to free themselves out of the box. And this could be that they are simply caught in another love, you know, that they're loving someone else, but this love is not just good for them. It's not good for them. So, and that's why, you know, they really want to be saved. Yeah. Maybe even in your connection or in your relationship, um, you didn't work out because this person wanted to be saved, but you couldn't save them basically, you know, <clears throat> And that's why they don't make any decision to come out of this box. But first, before they can come towards you, the universe lets this rest because this person has to free themselves out of the box in their life, from the life they live in now. So this is basically, they don't do anything. They have feelings for you. Yeah, but it's more so as if they want that you save, save them. And this is not your job, guys. And that's why the universe cut it off. It's not your job to save this person. I feel they're tired of their surroundings, whatever they are in, whatever life they are in. Um, you know, being with you was like a retreat. Being with you was that they could say, I'm fine. Yeah. With you, they were fine. But in the, in the end, it didn't work out because you had the feeling of always saving them or that your energy was kind of like sucked in like a vampire, you know, they might. And that's why maybe you are even tired or, you know, because I'm feeling here that the universe let this rest because, um, yeah, they have to free themselves out of the box. They have to see that no one can save them. They can only save themselves and they have to make a decision. This person is caught in a life they don't want, but they're not ready to make a decision. And that's why they're not making a decision towards you. And you're not the one should, who should save them. But that's how it felt for you. And maybe that's what they expect, that you save them. That's how they feel. Maybe you need to save them. But that universe is saying that's no justice. This is the most important card here in the middle. yeah. So how are they feeling towards you? They feel love. You know, the seven of cups. They, but this person is confused. They have to make a decision towards you. And this person is not ready yet to make a decision. So that's why the universe say, at the moment, this person has to work on their life, you know, on their own tasks. We have the ace of cups here. There is love. I told you this. The ace of cups, there is love. But um, this is also the reversed ace of cups, as I see it now. So this means that they're missing out on self-love and they have to learn this. So this is the outcome. Yes, the five of wands. They can only come towards you victorious if they turn this heart around and make it to the ace of cups, the self-love, if they give love to themselves. This is the disease they have right now. Is that they are tired of their life. <clears throat> they um, It would not work out if you guys come together now. Because they have to free themselves from this box. Whatever box they are put in. Maybe because of that box you guys are in separation. Yeah. Maybe you have never met this person. But um, they are your lover. You know. They are your twin flame. They also have to free themselves out of the box. You cannot save them. They have to save themselves from this life. And that's what is the disease in between the two of you. And that's why they're tired. And that's why everything was falling down. You know. Um, because the universe says this person, they need to free themselves first before they can come towards you. All right. So let's get a card. This is the energy card. What is the energy between the two of you? Or what is the advice towards you? Let's do this. What is the advice here for my divine feminine watching? No, nope. one more. What is the energy? Okay. I'm taking this one. Tiger lily. That's a plant, right? Again, we have this um, 17. Yeah, you are guided. Yeah. With the red card, you know, the red card came out in pile two as well. But here, the tiger lily, I see a little bit different. Um, with a tiger lily, I see that you are strong enough to be your own tiger. You know, you are maybe in masculine energy, but you are guided. 
you're guided um, to plume and to blossom because of the lily on your own, okay? The 14 means you're guided by the universe. The 14 is the angel card, the temperance. Um, you know, just know that you guys are mingling with each other, yeah? This is um, your, your soul energy is mingling. But again, we have the decision, the lover's card, yeah? And the five and the six together is in 11. This is the twin flame card again, the one and one. Um, you have to stand on your own feet, the both of you, yeah? And we also have the five, which is about um, the struggle, yeah? This is the struggle card. And then we have the six, which is the lover's card, which is the decision card. In order to come into a union or to come into um, a place of harmony, which is also symbolized by the six, um, you know, if we just look at the numbers, every one of you has to blossom on their own first. And that's what I see. The advice for you is you are passionate enough. You know, this person is a red sign now. You know, it's not working out. They have to free themselves from the red box. And in every pile, there was like a card I could put on. It was the same color and it's here, the box. So before you guys can come into union and before this love is working out and before this person, you know, can come into union with you, they have to love themselves first. They have to break out of the box. This is basically what they need to learn. This, this looks beautiful. They have to become the strong tiger. Yeah, but right now they're weak. They're not happy in their surroundings. They don't love themselves. They're not breaking out. They don't love themselves enough to break out. But this is what needs to happen here, right? All right, guys. So this is their feelings. Um, please watch the Seas. Try to find it. Also, this song came out from BTS. There's a music video. So please watch Save Me, the music video. Turn on the captions for English. And also watch the music video for I'm Fine. Which is, um, you know, they did it two years later after Save Me. So first they sang the song Save Me. And later they sang I'm Fine. And all the information is in these three songs. Disease, Save Me and I'm Fine. So you check out those three songs because they're important here. Watch all the music videos to that. Watch all the lyrics to that. Because Save Me is very, very important here in this case. Okay, pile three? I love you. Take care, Purple Lights. I see you again. Bye. So... Hello, Pile 4. You chose this Sokjini. Messages from your person. So, first of all, I want to get a song. All right. To see. Yeah, how is he feeling, you know? And please look up the songs, you know, please watch them. Mm. Also, don't forget to turn on the lyrics, you know, in BTS songs is always important. But I also want to read you the lyrics. So here we go. What song is significant for Pi? Okay, there you go. See how this comes out? Here's your song, guys. How is he feeling? So then I want to get tarot cards to that. Pi 4, how is he feeling? How's Pi 4 feeling towards the person? First card. Second card. Third card. So here we go. I also want to get um, the outcome um, at this moment. Okay. So let's see. I hope you can see this. Everything is good. What's the outcome for this pile? So we have the boys here and another card I want to get. We have Joni here, okay? So this is the overall calm at the moment, yeah? So guys, let's do this. Let's read, let's see what your person, how is your person feeling towards you, Pi 4? And the song for you is, oh my gosh, life goes on. Wow, the rainbow. Like an echo in the forest. Wow. That's gorgeous. Look at this, guys. So watch the music video. Life goes on. There are, I think, two or three of them, right? There are a lot of them. Because this was during the pandemic. It was like a motivational reading. F um, not a reading. A motivational song. You know, um, because they're missing ARMY so much. 
And with that, I'm seeing that your person is really missing you. You know, I'm seeing that like an echo in the forest, you know, so I'm going to get the translator for the lyrics and I'm going to read this to you. <clears throat> Life goes on. Lyrics. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you and then we're gonna see how your person is feeling. I remember, I remember. One day the world stopped without any warning. Spring didn't know to wait. Showed up not even a minute late. Streets erased of footprints. I lie here fallen to the ground. Time goes by on its own without a single apology. It looks like rain again today. I'm soaked to the bone. Still won't stop. Running faster than that cloud of rain. Thought that would be enough. Guess I'm only human after all. I'm in a world of pain. This cold the damn world gave to me prompts me to press the dust-covered rewind. Dancing off beat lying on the ground. Once winter comes, let's exhale. A warmer breath. There's no end inside. Is there a way out? My feet refuse to move. Close your eyes for a moment. Hold my hand to the future. Let's run away. Like an echo in the forest, the day will come back around as if nothing happened. Life goes on like an arrow in the blue sky. Another day flying by on my pillow on my table. Life goes on like this again. Let me tell you with this song. People say the world has changed. But thankfully, between you and me, nothing has changed. With the onion, we start and finish the day. Let us thread tomorrow with today. Stop for now, but don't hide in the shadow. Once again, daylight will glow. Then they repeat this again. Yeah, so it's about coming back. Yeah, meeting up again, missing you. As I said, they're missing you. They want to come back. And you see this, you see this longing in this card you know look at this card i mean you see his longing i don't know i see longing in this this how he looks <laughs> i don't know i just see longing <coughs> oh wow look at this the judgment card that's coming back wanting to greet the morning again wanting to greet you again wanting to be reunited again okay if you have never met this person um they come back from a past life you know they remember because they're saying in the beginning of the song, I remember, yeah? They can't forget your days. They want to come back. If you've been together with that person in a relationship, they want to come back. Oh, there we have spring. The ace of swords are waiting for a new day, for an epiphany, you know, for spring to come, to come back. This is crazy, yes. They want to come back so bad. Oh my gosh, I can be your hero. Look at this. Um... Wow. What I'm seeing here is, you know, um, wow, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm getting in is they had this epiphany while you were in separation of, um, you know, they want to protect you. They want to be your hero. Um, this is the word Anpan Man. This is the strength card. They held in all their feelings, you know, maybe they never told you how they felt. So if you've never met this person, you don't know how they're feeling, yeah? But they want to be your hero. This is the song Anpan Man, so watch that too. Anpan Man and Life Goes On, all right? Those are the songs, the two songs the universe is giving me for this. So it's basically about them wanting to protect you, them getting the epiphany that they want to come back. Yeah, two major arcana here. They gather the strength now to come back. They gather the strength. Um, they don't care about judgment anymore. I feel here there was um, a lot of judgment from the outside for this connection. They don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm seeing here that this person is saying, well, and I, so, I also want to protect you. Yeah, they also want to protect you against all this judgment from the outside world. That's so gorgeous. And basically they're saying, yeah, life goes on. There will come a time again when spring is blooming, when everything will be happy. So don't worry too much. You know, don't be sad. I'm coming back. And I want to put it like this. I don't know. They want to do it like this. <laughs> I don't know why. 
that's a that's the if I if I turn it around, that's the the rune for thunder and um, lightning, which is the rune for victory, which is the rune of um, success. You know, victory and success, and they miss you, they long for you, they want to come back to you, they want to protect you, they want to be there for you, they want to live with you, they want to share life with you. I mean, life goes on. You know, mostly they filmed it inside, in a house, in a room, you know, like spending 24-7 with each other. This was the song during the pandemic, you know, where everything was falling apart. So basically, this person wants to protect you. They really want to cover you against judgment. They really want to be there for you. They want to share their feelings. That's what I'm also getting. They have beautiful feelings. They love you. There's love here, okay? So everything is gorgeous over here, pile four. <clears throat> so let's see the overall outcome for now. Reunion, <laughs> three of cups, that's also my army card. That's the card of being happy and um, sh reunion again, you know, coming back. And the queen of pentacles. Um, the queen of pentacles I always see as this wifey card. And when I see the wifey card, you know, it's like for them, you are this stable, gorgeous woman. They want to come back. They want to live with you. And basically, as I said before, it's this queen of pentacles. It's this energy of you. You should be the wife of my, uh, the mother of my children. Yeah. Oh, that's so gorgeous. So they want to come back. They might made up their minds and they want to tell you about their feelings. That's what I'm getting. They kept most of their feelings inside. You probably have no idea. And when you listen to this right now, you're saying, Purple, that's not true. This person never told me how they felt. Yeah, I see that. But they're ready now, guys, to come back and tell and share. So let's see. Um, let's see the um, color-coded card. And what should we ask? Like, what is their... Like, what do... How are they feeling? Like, what do they... F what are they feeling? What is it that they are feeling? Tell me, universe, for this pile. This card. So let's see. Maybe they tell me exactly what they're feeling. What I'm getting is that they love you. They want to spend every day with you. You know, if I see the mother of my children, I mean, that's enough. It's enough. They're happy. Three of Cups, you've, they feel for you like a friendship and also like love, like love and friendship. You know, that's the best you can get in a love situation if your hubby also loves you, you know. Pony. <laughs> okay, when I read this pony and I see this color, I think of the merry-go-round, the ponies at the merry-go-round. Like they are in love. Yeah, this is first love for me. Yes. And also the number 15, that's the devil card, guys. The, a lot, a lot, a lot of passion. So basically they are in love, but they also feel, feel all this passion. And they kept that passion inside of them. Yeah. For whatever reason, they did not open up to you about this. Oh, look how my nails fit to his shirt. <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't even know this until now. Ah, cute. And we have the 18, the moon. Yeah, you didn't know about their feelings. They did not share their feelings. And the 16 is the tower. And I see this as a 16. You know, out of nowhere, they will come back and they stand in front of your door. This is an energy here where, you know, they feel all this um, love, bubbly love, pony love, you know, like this first love feeling with the rainbow here. Like, you know, it's like this first love, but at the same time, like... Ah, I, I don't know how to say that. Remember when you were for the first time in love and the guy told you or you told them, let's stay together and marry and you will um, you will have my children, you know, something like that is coming through. Very innocent, very innocent love. But at the same time, the devil energy here, like this is, a uh, you know, like not going really together, but it shows me that their love is true. But at the same time, they feel like all this passion for you and they, they really come forward. They're planning on coming forward. Maybe they come riding on a horse. <laughs> and one day they stand in front of your door and they tell you, baby, come on, let's be my wifey. 
Oh, I love this. Re I love when those readings come out like that. I mean, that's gorgeous, right? It's like we're sitting here and like, yay. <laughs> I love this when this happens. Like spirit is very grateful when, when spirit does that, you know. That's like rainbow and ponies. And, you know, like every one of us, you know, like uh, some of you don't want this. You don't like this. But he, remember... Yeah, there's a devil here. It means that person is coming on a pony and there's they're having all this rainbow love for you. But, you know, they, <laughs> they also do all the devil things to you. So don't worry. If you don't like this rainbow and cheesy stuff, there's a devil underneath, you know? So this is perfect here. This is what we want, right? <laughs> By four, you got checkpot. So that's all what I'm having. I hope you liked it. I, I, I hope I can still um, upload it for today because I really love this reading. I really want to get it out because it's so cute. So I see you guys. Bye.